As the growth of employment slows and in industries like hospitality and education are still filling some huge holes trying to recruit and retain talent. A week ago, Governor Roy Cooper signed Senate Bill 722 into law looking to find a fix to the ailing education system. But it's no quick fix as other industries also try to find ways to attract people to positions. Governor Cooper signed Senate Bill 722 into law on July 10th, hoping to alleviate some of the burden and the need for more teachers. The bill changes certain requirements, providing flexibilities for people to acquire their child development associate credential in early childhood education. But the governor's office tells us it's no magic bullet. They say in a statement, quote, while this bill improves credentialing to help hire more qualified child care workers, child care centers don't have the funds to hire enough of them. Neither the House nor the Senate budgets make meaningful investments in child care. Now, the same rings true for the hospitality industry, right, says Lynn Mingus, the president and CEO of the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association. She explains the industry has a capacity challenge. We're seeing demand for hotel rooms and for travel and for dining out at all-time highs. And so the revenue is there. I think where we're feeling the squeeze is on the, on the uh, profit margin side. She says restaurants and hotels are battling higher costs in nearly every arena, costs of operations, rent, insurance, and food. But the big one is investing more in labor. The reality is that they are turning away guests with empty tables because they don't have staff to service those tables. It takes people to serve people, and that's what we're really working hard to try to, you know, to, to, to resolve in North Carolina, to try to get people back on the front lines of restaurants and hotels. The positive business climate in North Carolina is something NCRLA wants to continue to build on, but they need the people to do so. We are seeing growth in the number of businesses across the state uh, and, and growth in revenues from those, and we expect that to continue. So right now, the NCRLA is using $5 million from the American Rescue Plan allocated by the General Assembly in North Carolina to create a recruitment plan to attract and retain more people. It's a pretty robust one as well. They say they'll launch it pretty soon. But they are also offering more than 60 free courses or credentials to enhance skills for any North Carolina resident working within the hospitality field. You can find more information right now on this story on WCNC.com.